Today, I think we're gonna go over one of the cutest fountains I've ever made. And yes, they get cuter and cuter all the time because I keep making them and the birds love them. And I keep getting more ideas. We're gonna change one up. This is a candy bowl I've had sitting here for I don't know how many decades, really. Well, I had a pumpkin. You probably saw that video and you may have to go back and refresh your memory on that. But there's the pumpkin and I made a fountain out of it. And I will show you a little bit on how we put that together, but we changed it up now. And I had to make an entire video on this because this turned out to be like a pond, a lake. And it wasn't bringing one bird, it was bringing a whole bunch of birds. At times, there were five of them at one time in there swimming and bathing, but they'd see me grab my camera or looking at him and one would take off and then a whole bunch would take off at the same time. So I haven't been able to get all five in the photo yet, but I did want to share that video with you. But I added in a few rocks and they just felt like they were at a beautiful, clean, sparkling pond for them to bathe all day. And let me tell you something, they start at like 6, 6.30 in the morning because they want to be clean. Let me give you a refresher course in case you haven't seen the other video, but go check it out. I just got a tray and a vessel. That's all you need. Something for the pump to sit in where water's gonna come out of. Now that's a pet fountain on the bottom. If you buy those pet fountains for like $15, $20, you get everything. You get the vessel, you get your pump, you got everything you need. And the tray, I picked that one over up at Dollar Tree. You need to make a hole to bring your straw up. Yes, a drinking straw, a jumbo straw. That's all you need. The straw is gonna bring the water up where you want it. And then you wanna make a bunch of holes because the water's gotta go back into whatever vessel you're going to use. Remember, full details on the other fountain that I made. And this is going to be a swap over. And there it is. And these go on sale all the time, but you've got everything you need. Then a power bank. Yes, you can use a solar panel if you want, but being winter now and the sun isn't out every day, I use a power bank. And a lot of us have it anyways. We keep that on hand to charge up our phones or tablets or whatever. So having that, you plug it in and guess what? My fountains run for four days and that's day and night on that. Now we just put the straw in there, push it on the bottom. There's suction cups underneath some of these pumps. And then we're just going to put it all back together. If you're using a pet fountain, we're going to put the trays all back together and the tray on top. Remember, you can eliminate that. And just use a fountain inside whatever vessel you're going to use, like this dish pan. Now here you saw me put my pumpkin back. I plugged it into the power bank because I have no sun in the house. And there it goes. But now I'm going to show you how we can do a side shoot instead of doing it this way. And you can use any bowl you want and you won't need holes. Let's get into that right now. Today, I'm gonna to show you three different methods of making a water fountain that shoots out to the side and we're gonna use a straw. This is method number one. I'm making a couple little holes on the top with my hot soldering iron. Now I'm gonna take a plain old glue gun. This is one of them like you can get at Dollar Tree, a little small one, and I'm going to fill the top with hot glue. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cork this big jumbo straw up. Now, oops, ran out of glue. Let's get another glue stick in there. Now you wanna fill the top only and you don't want it to drip on your wonderful mat that you made for doing videos. So I'm gonna keep filling and you want the two holes there because it's gonna hold the glue in place. If you just put it on the top, it might fall out. But because you got two holes, it's gonna create like a rivet and it's not gonna go anywhere once it's full. And you know what? If you have no patience, dip it in some cold water and your hot glue will become solid. You won't have to wait. Now we're gonna need another hole, but we're not gonna do it now. We'll do it soon. Now these are foam blocks I got, like for painting, and I had these for years too. Bought them at Michael's, they were like a dime. I didn't know what I was gonna do with them. Well, today I'm making a cork. I'm taking another jumbo straw. By the way, these straws come in all different colors, but today I'm using black. So I'm gonna remove the label, and I'm going to make a hole on the bottom of this foam block. That's what it is, it's a block, but it's a stamp. Now we're gonna make a hole with my soldering iron, just big enough to kind of shove that straw in there. Look at that. Is that not cool? We made a cork. We didn't need to fill the straw up, but I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue around the edge there. And when I put it there, it will hold it in place so it's not gonna go anywhere. At least I hope so. Is that cute? And yes, I dipped it in water because I have no patience. I wanna go on to the number three project. Now here is the straw. I've got another jumbo straw. And then I had some of these bendable ones and I had some pieces left. And it just so happens it fits inside my jumbo straw. I never knew what I was gonna do with them because they bend, but they don't hold in place. Look, they just go back. So I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the edge, kind of keep it in place. And I had this shower curtain hook. It's just an old one I had, it's kind of, 
sturdy. It's been outside, but I wanted to test this. And I thought, well, that's not going to hold. I could get wire, but I took up pliers and I just kind of twisted it. And I wanted to see what it would look like. This is to give you an idea. I ended up not using this, but just in case you've got something and you have, you know, an idea of what you're going to do. And that would work. But I came up with another idea, a pipe cleaner. Now a pipe cleaner will not last as long as a shower curtain hook. It might only last a few months out there, but hmm, it's for the holidays and I might change it up anyways. And if I don't, well, maybe I'll go back and put the shower curtain back. So I twisted it around and I'm bending the straw in the direction I want it to go. I won't need any other holes in that, just this, because now it's gonna direct the water in another direction because I'm using a bowl that has no holes. So I've got to get the water in the bowl, right? Now I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue there so nothing is sharp and it will hold everything in place. And look at that. Is that not cool? These projects are so easy. I'm hoping I'm giving you ideas with maybe found items in your house that you had in one of those junk drawers that you throw everything in there and you don't know what to do with. Well, now you know what to do with them. And there they are. There's number one, and then you've got number two that's going to have the cork on the top. Look at that. It's all corked up. There it is. And there's number three. Now let's get outside because we're not quite done yet. Two of those still need another hole. Let's get this fun project together because the birds are waiting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this up. I'm going to put a bowl here with rocks, but we're going to put the water sideways. Something you haven't seen me do, I don't think, for a while. And this will give you ideas. We're going to try it three different ways and see which way we like best. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the solar off. So the solar panel's over. We're gonna take this off. Now we've got three of these. I'll probably end up taking the plate off. We can either go sideways. I don't know how this is gonna work. We could do it this way, which we'll have to make a hole in here. And the same thing with this, we can put this on and then I will have to make a hole. You know what, let's take this off because what we do need to do Hold on. So we're going to have to put one of these on. So let me take this off for a minute. And let's decide which one we want to do. Let's see first, you know, let's see how this sits on here. As far as will it sit on here? Oh yeah, this will work. Okay, so we could go sideways. I'm not sure which one I like better. This is different. You know what, let's go with this because both of these do the same thing. This one's corked with just the hot glue and this one is corked with this stamp I had and it's Halloween-y. Let's do the Halloween-y thing. Let's put this off to the side. So I need to get this the same size. Actually, it looks really good. So let's take this off. Let's take this straw off, put that to the side, and let's put this, oh well, we can't put it on yet. We're gonna do it this way. And then we gotta put on this. I kinda like this, I, I like this design because it looks so cute. Is it gonna work? I don't know, what side do you like better? There's the pumpkin. There's the candy corn, let's do the candy corn. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I've got to get my soldering iron on. So let me turn that on while I get this situated. Now this bowl is an old candy dish. Now I have to make sure that when the water fills up in here, it goes back through here. Now I could tilt it a little bit, so we'll have to see how it goes. And the next thing I have to do is make sure the water goes in here, because this is where the birds are going to take a bath. Now I can't make a hole until the soldering iron is warm and I'm gonna make it hopefully around here. If it doesn't shoot enough water in here, then we'll have to go back to the bent one, which is this one. And this one will work this way. As you can see, it will direct the water directly in here. This would shoot the water. Either one will work. I just think this looks cute and then I can use this for something else later. So let me go check on my soldering iron. So I've got it heating up right now on my Flash Fish power unit. It's a 200 watt power unit I use all over the garden. And look at this, we can have this turning so you can see trick or treat, is that not cute? Now, I don't know if it's gonna shoot far enough. Let's see if it's hot enough. I've got it plugged in and let's 
see if we can do this. Okay, I made a hole. Let's see if this is going to work. <laughs> I think we need a bigger hole. Hold that. You got the idea what I'm trying to do? Okay, let's make the hole a little bit bigger and bring it down. Try again. Nope. How about a bigger hole? So you got the idea. We're going to control the water, my hopes are, with the size hole. Okay, that may not work. I don't know why it's shooting so big. So let's keep going. If I mess it up, I can always get it's just a straw. Ah, oh, almost, almost, did you see it? So my hole is getting bigger and bigger. I'm trying to bring it down so it goes into the bowl. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. I want it to go more into the bowl and less shooting. Got it, got it, it's perfect. It's perfect, so the hole is, like you'll have to test yours it's a quarter of a dime but again if i think it's running too much or not good enough i can change it i can make the hole bigger the bigger the hole the wider the flow and the wider the flow the less it shoots tiny hole shoots further a bigger hole shoots closer is this not cute so far the water is filled up here and it's got to go back there now if it doesn't i can just slightly tip it I can even take one of these flowers and make sure it's going back to where I want it. And I do believe it is. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited with this. Look what we could do with this straw. I don't even have to try the other ones because you know what it would look like. If you want me to do it, this would be exactly. Let me, let me shut off my power unit. All I have to do is shut it off, and that's what I did. Just shut the unit off. Now, this would be the same thing. I would make a hole in here. I'm going to save this for something else, and it would shoot. This has been blocked up. This has just been blocked up by a Halloween stamp. Look at this, and it's going back. Is that not cute? Nothing's dripping here. It is perfect. There still is a little bit of a splash. So my unit, my, my soldering iron is still hot so I can go a little bit more make the hole shut don't go through the wrong way if you go through the straw we're shooting off the back end see how that is stays hot for a long time yeah I think that is better and then the other thing I'm going to do is add rocks in here rocks will give it a good footing for birds to not just land here but to go inside it's good to give it a good rinse when you're completely done in case there's any you know burnt plastic in there but it's not going to hurt anything but it is good to give it a rinse but that's all there is to it we can make side shooting straws by just simply filling them or topping them with something that is so cute the water is going back into the unit and then the pump is shooting it up and then the rocks will just simply go in here i might get a couple more rocks look at this Okay, we don't want any splash, so we've got to stop the splash. We might have to just do it that way. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. This is exactly what I wanted, and the hummingbirds can land here or land on the edge and get in there, but I want to fill this up with rocks. Oh, I'm so excited. I know, I hear some of you. You want to see the other one just because I told you I was going to do the other one. So let's do the other one, and let's pour the water back in because I still have to take the straw off to put the other one on for you. Yes, put the other one on, we want to see it. So, got to take, whoops, take this off and this off. Let me take this one off. Now, go through this way. Now this one won't shoot. Push it on, you know how I put this on, you check all my other videos, you know exactly how I'm doing it. Now this would go like this. This is, there's nothing with nothing on this. Actually, this one is calmer, isn't it? I think the other one was so cute, but look at this. And with the pipe cleaner, you direct it exactly, you know what? 
I think I'm going to keep the other one for something else because this is so big and I think you're right. I am going to go with the pipe cleaner. Let me let you see this better. Did I turn off the unit? I did. This is really nice. Put my flowers in here. Make sure it's tilting everything back to the center because that's where all my holes are. And look at that. So what we did is a makeover on this and I think this is really cute. Now I can put my rocks in here. Oh, you talked me into it. You said, no, no, you can't use the other one. It's splashing too much. You're right. We're gonna go ahead with this one. Maybe I'll do the other one in, in another video and make something else up. But this is gonna be really good. I might get a couple more rocks. I can leave this out. Birds can take a bath here. But remember, the water's going back inside. This is really cute. Now this was just something I had. It's like a bendable straw. And because I couldn't keep it where I wanted it, I just used pipe cleaner. You would want to use a better wire because this is only going to last a few months, but Halloween will be over and then we'll be doing Christmas. So we'll be doing other holiday fountains. So I think this is really cute. I have more flexibility on moving this. And I think you're right. Let me show you what it looks like. And then we're going to have to step back and see what birds use this. So this one actually runs perfect. I'm going to put a few more rocks so it's shallower for the hummingbirds, but other birds will be able to get in there. Is that not gorgeous? And this will work great. And then the water is going this way back inside. Now, let me show you here. I hope you can, you can see it. Let's see. If, see how big the hole is? It's not that big. Maybe just under a half of a dime, not even that. See what I did? So the water shoots out of the straw this way. See, it goes sideways. See the hole? Is that not cool? And so the water will follow the hole and it will go out like that. Now you would do the same thing with this straw. This straw has the cap with the glue in it. It's just real simple and you'd make the hole wherever you want. But again, the only control you've got with the straw, either one of these that are blocked, is that hole that you make. And then you've got to hope that it gets to where you want. See, this has got a big hole, the straw. So see how big the flow is? So the bigger the hole, the slower and less shooting of water. But it can be done and it worked really good. But I actually like the looks of this. It's a little calmer. It's not splashing. And I think this is going to be really good. What do you think? Is it going to be good? Because I want to see what's going on. I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to leave this, get a couple more rocks. Birds can take a bath here and this is really nice and again all you have to do is dump it out and put fresh water in if you're soldering right onto the water and I'll do that in a few moments but there it is now I've got a use for this you know I've had this thing for over 10 years maybe longer and I never used it and then I looked at it, it's a candy bowl and I thought I have a use for it I'm gonna set it up for Halloween now, I could get decorative. I could glue a pumpkin or something on here. I could even put some flowers on here if I wanted to. For now, I'll leave it just the way it is. And I think it's going to look really cute. And of course, this can be changed out, this one, for a power bank. Right now, we have so much sun that I decided to go with the solar unit on this, but the solar panel, but I can swap it out. So we're going to use the solar panel and we're going to watch the birds come to this fountain. So I know this is one of my longer ones on making a bird fountain. And I'm telling you, this one just flabbergasted me. I am just, I can't believe it. The amount of birds, even birds I've never seen come to the deck to use the fountain has been unreal. I'll show you a couple of them. The birds came immediately. As soon as I walked away, they started coming to it. I guess the idea is there were rocks, a large bowl. It reminded them of a pond. I mean, a lot of people do have ponds around here, koi ponds and different things. And they must have took one look at it and thought, oh, I can land on that. And they were friendly. There were so many hummingbirds bathing at the same time. I saw up to five. You know, usually it was two or three bathing in there. But the rocks being placed in there created shallow spots for them to splash, yet it was deep enough for other birds to get in there and do their thing and clean up. I mean, here you could see four of them 
are trying to get in there. I did this through the window. That's why you can see the glare. But isn't that cute? This has been unreal. And then, of course, the house finches came in too. They always do. The reason this was long is I had three different methods and I wanted to make sure I put and included all three in here in case you don't have a bendy straw or you have jumbo straws or maybe the two other methods gave you another idea. That's the whole idea of the fountains and the things that I do to give you other ideas. Take my methods, change it around, make it work for you. You want to know something as I look at this, I've already got a hundred more ideas. Every time I think I've got the greatest idea, I think of another one. And this is the Phoebe flycatcher. I have not seen them come onto the deck to do anything but catch flies. And let me tell you something, this little guy has decided it's his. When he's around, nobody's coming on it. He drinks the water coming out of the straw. He's gotten into the bowl. Look, the poor house finch has to wait for him. This is not a joke. They came right away. This fountain's only a couple days old. And these birds absolutely love this bowl. Do not kid yourself. I will be running around looking for different types of bowls. But this has been been so fun to put together. Please tell me what you think. Do you like the different ideas I come up with? And I'm sure you can take these ideas and tweak them and maybe even make them better than the way I did it. I'm sure you're sitting there right now thinking, oh, I know what I can do with that because let me tell you, I already know what I can do with this. But this is a good start. I'm gonna let this run through the holiday and then I'm gonna reluctantly probably take it down and build another one. But if it continues the traffic it's got, maybe I'll move it over and leave it there like I do with some of the other fountains I make too. But this Phoebe flycatcher really surprised me. And I do see them go into the ponds that we have here but I have never seen them come to the deck. In the bird garden, yes, they do come to take a drink. There was another surprise at the same time, and it was the orange crowned warbler. He must have been hanging around. The moment the house finch left, he came and dive bombed the water. That's the way they drink, by the way, and take a bath. They splash. I hope to see more of them soon. So with that, have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow, and leave your comments, because I'm gonna be reading through. Bye-bye.